Welcome along to the vlog, ladies and gents. It's certainly been a few days, almost a month, I believe, and we've advanced. Gemma's now become a master in the fine art of mixing mortar, as you can see. She's in the process of doing that right now. Um, we've upgraded to a hoist to get all the tiles and everything up onto the roof. They can just sit backwards a bit. It's very windy up here today. It's a bit of a shite. Well, here we have it. This is the roof. Almost complete. So we have Lead Valley installed. Just turns the corner a little bit there, doesn't it? Uh, it'll look alright once I've got the uh, under cloaking boards on. At the moment I'm just putting the ridge tiles along there. In this lovely weather, I'm sunburnt on my back even though I've got a t-shirt on. Uh, we've got to put some ridge tiles along here and then ridge tiles along the hips which we brought all the scaffold in. Bit of fascia to complete there, not a big job. And if we go around this side, isn't it different? Hopefully, we'll be out of the wind down here. Aha! Here's the other hip, uh, valley, it looks a bit better that one I think. I'm yet to finish the pike end wall, but we've got the internal block work up. And we've got the purlins poking through. That's a, uh, a joist carrying the ceiling joists for support. But that's a purlin. That's a purlin. Not purlin. A uh, binder. The purlins are up here on the roof. That's right. Shall we have a look at the front? So what I've managed to do, wind again, is I've taken all of the roof tiles, the old tiles from the back, I've used them on the front so it looks like it's completely matching and you can't tell the difference. We've still got to tile the porch down there but we're almost there. Cavity tray over the bathroom window. Building inspector's not seen that so it's a good job that I've got it on video in case uh, in case he doesn't come in time. And then you can see we've got loft insulation poking through, meeting up with our Kingspan insulation, so it's a continuous uh, layer of insulation all the way through and around the house. Just got these several bridge tiles to put on along here. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put a collar around Gemma's neck her up so she doesn't have to climb ladders anymore. That's what you was on about in Tip though. Yep, that is exactly what I was on about. Yeah. Right. Need to get some broken tile. that's up there because I might need it. Oh, no, right, sure. 
Oh, well, there's plenty of action, don't worry. Yes, See how you're caressing that tile. Like you're jealous, isn't it? Certainly. Right. You want to come up? No, I don't. Calves look nice. Hey? Your calves look nice. Oh, thanks. That's what happens when you wear high heels? I wouldn't know. Reginald, so this is the upstairs section inside, you can see a little bit of the roofing, we've opened up into the existing loft up there, as you can just about make out, not most of this wall down, we're just leaving the internal one, just to support the purlins on either end, but this section's down, steel's in, uh, we've opened up into the original hoose. Uh, these are a couple of the lintels from above the bathroom window and the this window here where Reginald's coming through. So this is going to be the new bathroom area. So old window coming out. If you look out here you see onto the street. You can see the porch down below where there's also going to be another bathroom directly below us. I think I've told you about all this anyway, so instead I'll talk about what I've actually done. So, um, as you can see, this the roof is in. Uh, we've pretty much matched the rafters as they exist in. They're a little bit thicker, um, but the ridge 
board is considerably thicker than the existing and the purlins and um, binders are also a lot thicker these are the binders here and then this is going to be the partition wall for the bathroom and the bedroom so this section here is carrying where we've joined the ceiling joists together because the span was too much so it's a six point something meter span um, but uh, they needed to be supported where they're joined then that means that from this section here that is now the span across there which then brings these ceiling joists into spec for the dimensions required for such a span and then as you can see we've got valley boards in there for uh, and a lay board for the valley to sit in that's all done and dusted and then if we come around here you can see the other end of the valley there uh, all protected all of the um, membrane is in we've got in this corner these are called like dragon ties they stop the wall from spreading in the corner and then there's some uh, steel work just holding it in there and across here where we've got these two joists binded together we're carrying all the jack joists for the ceiling then up there you can see the center of the hips and then all the nice cuts for the hips coming down all these compound cuts which were not easy to do at all but we got around them so i still need to put some uh, nuts and bolts through these two uh, members and join them together also hammer some big nails into the binders to hold the joists together, stop them moving around. They're probably over spec for the job, but it is what it is. Um, and then we've got to take this wall out. This steel's not being used now, so we've over-ordered on the steel. Because that was to carry this external wall. But we thought, well, what's the point in having that external wall? Because it's not doing anything, so we've removed it. Therefore, we're not going to require another steel going across. You can see this is where the steel would have sat, but it's completely doing nothing if we put it in there. It's just to steel for steel's sake, so not needed. Then up here we've got the cleats bolting the steels together. There's one on the other side as well, which you can tell from looking at that. And then we've got to relocate the toilet and the bathroom at some point, which means that all of these services have to go over there into the new bathroom, which at some point we're going to have to start getting ready to install. Because when this wall comes down, we're not going to have a private bathroom, so we could do with at least getting this one in, plumbed and working, before we open this lot up otherwise we're gonna end up uh, crapping al fresco I guess you'd say um, and then we've still got flooring to do this the new steel will sit in that section there on some pad stones and it will just carry these ceiling joists it's not carrying any any walls or anything like that and that's down below still through the gap there so that's uh, where we're at on the build at the moment um, I've been distracted quite a lot because of work. I've had to go in and I've been working in the kitchen doing some chef work. And uh, it's taken up quite a lot of time. They're long, long days when you're doing things like that. Anyway, uh, let's carry on and do some more work.